Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, welcome to Educational Center. So students, from today, we are going to start a new course of MATLAB tutorial. So in this course, uh, we will going from a beginning to advanced level. And the major language I will use throughout this course will be English. Uh, but some of the main bullet points I will try to elaborate and explain those in Urdu as well uh, because many of the students they prefer to study the lecture in Urdu rather in English so for those students who are interested in Urdu so I will explain those in Urdu as well but the English students uh, they don't become peeves because that will be just the repetition of the English version so in past lecture the title is given over here introduction to MATLAB so definition of MATLAB stands for matrix laboratory. So in MATLAB, any task is in the form of matrices, the variable, the data analysis, the computation of numerical data. So all of the data are in the matrix form. In the jab hum MATLAB palte hai, to MATLAB mein jo bhi cheeze hai, jo bhi task ham karte hai, to wo matrix ke form mein uh, store hote hai. To isliye isko matrix library kehte hai. Yani matrix form mein ye uh, data ko use karte hai. Uh, MATLAB is a computer programming language that uses computations. Computation means the action of mathematical calculation. In, in jab hum mathematical calculation karte hai, to us calculation ko hum computation karte hai. Computation means to compute. And algorithms. Algorithms mean a process or set of rules to be followed in calculations or other problem solving operations, especially by computer to in a last large amount of data and present it in the visually appealing formats. Appealing parameters means attractive parameters. So what is algorithm? Algorithm is actually the step by step solutions of any task, any problem is called algorithm. In case of khas tartib si, jab hum ek task diya jai, aur us task ko hum step by step solve karte hai. So step by step, jo solution hum karte hai, us process ko hum karte hai, algorithms. So jab bhi algorithms ka words aata hai, to iska matabhi hota hai ki step by step solution. Some features of MATLAB includes computation of numeric data, creating graphics for scientific uses, modeling and simulating data, analyzing data. Features mean characteristics. In MATLAB, what can be associated with it? We use computation, creating graphics, modeling and simulation of data, we use it for analyzing data. Similarly, we can use per circuit designing. I have given just these four bullet points, but there are many as well. But in slide, I have just given these four many bullet points. So MATLAB environment, uh, mat what is MATLAB environment? So the structural unit of data in any MATLAB programming is the array. What is array? Uh, an array is a collection of record values organized into rows and columns and known by a single name. Here the word row and column again using because MATLAB uses matrices and in, and in matrices rows and columns are present. So array means an all series or arrangement of recorded values. Yani data ke khas tartib ko jab hum data ya values ko hum ek khas tartib se arrange karte hai to us tartib ko hum kehte hai array. Right? So the major components of the MATLAB environment are as follow. Command window, command history, workspace, current directory, file detail window. So the pictures uh, given over here. So this is the command window, this is the workspace, this is the command history, this is the current directory contents, this is the file details. So let me open the MATLAB. So for the first time, when you open the MATLAB, so the command window will appear here. So in the first time, when you want to open the MATLAB, so it will take a little bit time because uh, MATLAB is a huge app. Uh, the MATLAB I have installed in my PC is approximately 16 GB. You can download the MATLAB app from any source. You can uh, go to the NetKP shops and ask the guy who will install the app for you. Uh, you can download from any online sources. You can install any version of MATLAB. Uh, I have installed the 2016 version. Uh, it's a little bit advanced, uh, but you can install the 2007 and uh, whatever the version available you can use. So this is the command window. Why the command window? Because I can command here. Suppose if x is my variable, I'm just writing here x and equal to, I want to assign four to my variable x. So I can command, just, just, just write, 4 and then enter so you can see that x is equal to 4 has been executed so the value 4 has been assigned to x so i command that x is equal to 4 and the matlab know my command that x is equal to 4 is a correct command and matlab execute the value is equal to 4 now in the command window, whatever the variables i am inputting here 
will appear in workspace as well. Here the name will be given. I have given the name x is equal to 4. So x is the name, x, is, x here is the name, and 4 is the value. And it also show the size where you can also see the size. It is 1 by 1 double, mean 1 row and 1 column. And this is the current directory or current folder a window. Here you can view the previous tasks you have done. But remember, only the MATLAB task. If you look over here, the lab number one of signal in system. This is not a MAT MATLAB task. Rather, it is a MS World task. You can reopen this MATLAB task on title 222 and similarly lab one dot mx. Dot m is the extension part MATLAB. Whenever you execute a file, so they will want to save the file. And when you save the file, that the dot m extension will be by default present. This is the history window. So now let's go to the slide. Here the elaboration is given. The command window is where you type in MATLAB commands. These can be simple equation you want evaluated or more complex expression evolving MATLAB scripts or functions. So you have to give you a simple equation or you can evaluate it or complex expression with us. Whatever task we can do in command window. Next is the command history window. So command history window shows the command you have entered in the in the past. So first, the command you have used, you can recap it command history window. So you can recap it in the command window. So you can repeat any of these commands by double clicking on them or by dragging them from the command history window into the command window. Next, the workspace. I have already shown you the workspace that whatever the variables, the equations you have uh, enter in the command window will also appear in the workspace. So workspace shows the list of variables that are currently defined and what type of variable each is, i.e. a simple scalar, a vector or a matrix. And the size of all arrays depending on the size, i.e. the type of the variables, its value may also be shown. So it means in workspace here the variable is x and poor has been assigned to this variable so the value is also shown here and the name of the variable x is also present here so next is the current directory window current folder windows are current directory window so the current directory window shows the content of the current working directory double click on any file to open it in a text editor uh, let me tell you one thing that the in the command window the issue is that once i give a value to a variable like uh, x is equal to 4 i have given to a variable x so now i'm unable to remove this variable i am unable to change the value of the variable the, the value may be variable the value may be constant or here may be a large code but but i will be unable to edit this suppose now uh, this is 4 and i just click on backspace i want to remove this so you have heard the sound that there is something wrong so this will be a big issue because if I want to execute a code of thousand lines and I make a small mistake in one line, so then I will need to repeat all the code again and that will be a big issue. So to overcome this issue, now I will elaborate a next thing that is new script. Just click on this and you can see an untitled 2 is present here. Now this editor window, it's also a command window. But this is editor. It means I, I can edit, I can change the value of variables, I can make correction in any codes and in any values. So suppose again if x is my variable, so x equals to suppose I want to give uh, to assign value 5 to x. So remember this thing in command window, whenever you want to assign a value to variable, just click on the enter key and the value will be executed. But here, in order to execute the value x is equal to 5. Uh, you will need to run this if you just click on the enter key so it will jumps to next line so it's mean you can also depend another variable as well so in order to execute just click on run but before running this program the MATLAB want to save this file so you can save the file where you want to save uh, just click on this suppose I am giving the name lecture one but you will care of one thing that you are not giving any space here just write name and then save it so you can see my task has been saved lecture number one dot m dot m is the extension for MATLAB MATLAB knows its own file by dot m extension right now just run it 
and you can see that the value x is equal to pi has been executed in the command window and in the workspace as well x is, x is the name of variable and pi pays a its value right now let's go ahead so the pile detail window shows pull details of the files in the current working directory window may be rearranged according to your uh, personal preferences including dragging windows away from the MATLAB work environment and so on mpile mpile is the uh, extension of MATLAB so in MATLAB all the pile will save by dot m extension MATLAB will execute the pile and will save by dot m extension such piles are called m piles MATLAB help if you have trouble in any task in any variable or in any command just write help and then a long list of help topics will follows and for specific commands just write help and then command name and help for that specific command will be executed like i am writing here help just writing help and then run it so you can see a long list of help topics has been appear in the command window let me maximize it so you can see these are all the help commands data analysis and Fourier transform data types and if you want to know about the data analysis and Fourier transform just click on this and it will further explain now for a specific topic suppose help and then write graph and then just run it so now in the command window graph properties graph method and all these things will be present here so now let's go further bolt-in variables MATLAB has bolt-in variable eg pi so in MATLAB the variable by default defined is called bolt-in variable in MATLAB mein jo bhi variable hote hai like pi agar aap pi ki value de de to aapko pi ki value execute ho jayegi whenever you just enter pi and then the value of pi will be executed because pi is bolt-in value just write pi and then run it and here in answer the value of pi 3.1416 has been executed because pi is a bolt-in value now let me change the name suppose pe and i pe and now run it so it will give you an error because pe the the matlab don't know what is pe stand for what is pe is so pe is not a bolt-in variable Many other variables will also be there in MATLAB, but just try to understand these things. Next is MATLAB as a case sensitive. Case sensitive means that MATLAB will distinguish between small a and capital A. In MATLAB, the small a and capital A will not mean the same thing. So next, to remove a variable, try this, clear x. And to remove all the variables from workspace, use clear or clear all. Now, if I want to remove this x, I want to remove this x so just write clear and then space x and then run it but it gave me error because pe is undefined value so first i need to remove this and now run it so you can see the value from the workspace disappeared x equal to 5. now if i want to clear all the variables and all the things from the workspace so just start clear all and then run it so now you can see the workspace is completely vanished and all the variables have been disappeared so you can clear any variables in workspace but if you want to to clear the command window so then you need to write clc clc if you write clc and thus then run it so now you can see the command window also had been vanished so if you want to uh, clear the workspace you need to write clear and if you want to clear the command windows then you need to just write here clc that will clear the command window so let's go ahead so input input prompts for user in example entering a single variable x is equal to input then enter a variable so you can enter the value enter a variable for x is equal to 4 next is display so disp disp is used for display array example or uh, disp i am using matlab so if you write disp and then comma and then i am using matlab and, and then inbound in these two comma and then execute you will see in the command window i am using matlab let, let me write this so i have written disp i am using matlab you need to go through the proper way and then run it 
So now you can see here, I am using MATLAB as executed in the command window. At the end of a sentence, you need to enter the semicolon so that you can break the line. So this semicolon is for line breaking. If you want to break this line, just enter semicolon, then enter and go to next line. So this line will be separately executed and the next line will be separately executed. So the last topic is leaving MATLAB. A MATLAB session may be terminated by simply typing quiet or by typing exit. So you can also exit the MATLAB from the top right exit, this cross symbol. And you can also quiet the MATLAB by just writing exit and then just run it. So, in, so now you can see that the MATLAB window has been disappeared. So students, this was the end of today's lecture. Take care of yourselves and see you in the next one.